Hi everyone, this is Kara. Welcome back to official channel of Video Prog Vlogger. New series of Video Prog official guide are now available in this channel, and you can find a complete set of videos showing you how to use Video Prog Vlogger to create stunning videos from scratch. So before we dive into the journey, make sure you check out the link in the description box down below to download the software for free. Alright, so now let's get the video started. Today, we will go over how to crop and resize your video with VideoProg Vlogger. In addition to resizing image, cropping a video is also fairly common in video editing. It is used to remove the unwanted part, like the black bars or some redundant image, to highlight a subject and make the video slappier. Besides, it could help modify the size of the image so that you are able to put more contents in one frame and deliver more information to the audience. VideoProg makes it easy for you to crop the video and you are now to one click to select the wanted ratio from a wide range of options to accommodate your video on various devices and platforms. Alright, so now let's get into the tutorial. Double click the software. Input the default parameters. Click here to create a new project. Now, import your materials to the media library and drag the video that we're going to work on to the video track. Well, here I'm going to take you through two scenarios. If you want to go direct to your editing work, then skip to a third part. But if you just want to cut out certain part of your video, you could select a target and drag the playhead to the starting point of the clip you are going to crop out. Click the split tool in the toolbar. Then find the end of the clip to be cropped and repeat. After the edit, select the image that needed to be processed. VideoProg Vlogger offers you two methods to crop unwanted portions from a video. The first method is to use a preset or customize a spec ratio to do the crop. Click Crop in the toolbar to enter the crop window. About here, you have a bunch of tools to adjust your parameters, which I'll talk about later. On the left hand, you can preview the unedited original footage and on the right side showcase you the edited image. Down here displays a few buttons for playback control. Along with that, our line common used aspect ratios to crop the video image. Here I will give you a little tour about each preset. 16 to line usually goes with IGTV, YouTube, widescreen and more, which is highly recommended if you are creating 2K or 4K video. 4 to 3 aspect ratio is used for HDTV and computer display. 1 to 1 aspect ratio for Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and more. 3.4 aspect ratio is used for phone, Instagram, and more. Line to 16 aspect ratio is for IGTV, Instagram Story, Snapchat, and more. 1.85 to 1 aspect ratio is used for U.S. cinema film. 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio is for cinema scope. 3 to 5 aspect ratio is used for iPhone. 5.8 aspect ratio is for phones with a 5.8 inch display. You can choose one of these presets and apply in your video directly or click here to customize yourself. Come on, use your imagination to customize an aspect ratio you want to work with. Either way, you can drag the frame here in the left window to adjust your cropping size, or select the image in the frame box and move it up and down to change your cropping area. And you can also drag the area outside the frame to adjust the rotation until you get what you want for your work. On top of that, 
If you want to go deeper on this, use the slider above the window here to make adjustment on both horizontal and vertical values. If you want to do some about the size, go to a size slider and move it to adjust the widest and height of the area. If you want to rotate the image, find the rotation tool and rotate the image. Click Reset Upper Right to revoke all the operations. With the original tool here in the lower left corner. With both of which, you can reset image without existing the crop window. If you want to preview the effect after editing, click the play button and view it in real time here. The pause button will pause the image at the current position. But clicking on stop will return you to the first frame of the video. If you need to see exactly what's happening in each frame, use a Preview and a Lux to adjust the playback frame by frame. After done with the editing, hit Apply. All the edits will then be applied to the video. The second method. Well, Video Prog equips you a better alternative here to do quick resize and crop. I will show you how. Select the clips that need to be adjusted in the video track. Navigate to a transform part in the inspector. And the edits can be easily completed through a few options. Drag the rotation slider to change the rotation angle of the video. Move the slider of scale to enlarge or narrow the image. Turn the value of X or Y to adjust the horizontal and vertical position of the image. One click here to do the flip vertically or horizontally. Feature screen allows the video to be tilted across the screen based on the width and height. You can combine multiple tools here to make your adjustment. The result will be reflected in a preview window in real time without clicking Apply. Alright, now you reach the end of today's video about how to crop and resize a video in VideoProc Vlogger. Through the two cases here, I think you've got a comprehensive understanding of it. If you want to crop a moving object, go check out the motion crop tutorial made in our channel, which I will link at the top right of the screen. Alright, don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe if you haven't yet. We will see you in our next guide tutorial. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye!